yeah, Brad Butter, Brad Butter Films. Um, here with the URL Armageddon recap. Everybody keep asking me. Pretty sure everybody by now heard what happened Saturday in the evening. Um, I believe something happened with Webster Hall and URL. I heard two different stories. I don't know which is true, so y'all can shed light if y'all don't really know what happened for real. Not nah, he say, she say, but. Um, I heard that Webster Hall double booked URL, like they booked them and somebody else for the same day with the times crossing, and you know that can't happen. Um, and I heard they just scratched URL instead of the other one. I also heard that that like the the, the people in downtown Manhattan that live in that community or whatever petitioned up or something and did something or went to Webster Hall management saying that they didn't want a rap battle event there, which I could honestly believe that like that will. This is New York City, you know how people are when people of culture get together and we do what we do, so. And, you know, they think people out there to fight and cause drama, and it's not even like that. So, you know, we had a couple, many successful events, you know, that I've been to, where everything goes fine, everybody had enjoyed themselves, everything goes the way it's planned. But, we're going to get into the recap. So, I mean, I heard, I knew y'all know that happened, so they um changed it to... Gramercy Theater. So shout outs to URL. I need everybody to realize that if that's what happened, they have no control over that. Like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna get some legal work done with that to 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 sort that out with their company because you know they can't do that. But anyway, they they got it together. They could have just canceled the event, postponed the event, but they got it together in in a couple. I probably say. Then 12, 16 hours of the event supposed to be happening, got a um, Gramercy Theater to host it, and you know, and they did it there. So when then that was crazy, I pulled up at that. The line was like I, you know, I usually get the shot of the line for y'all, but it was raining and it was so hectic that I wasn't even trying to do that. I was just basically trying to get through the door. Um, I got to the front. It was crazy. I'm talking about, and I'm and I was pressed. I have media pass, and I had to, and I was with my man Zo Green. Shout out to Zo Green. He got a couple battles coming out, hosted by Lux, sponsored by Monster. So look out for that. Um, but I had to leave my man Zo outside, like, cause I so I could get interviews and stuff, you know. But um, shout out to Mickey Fax. He made sure I got my my work done for y'all. So you know, big up Mickey for you for that. Um. So I go inside, you know, everybody's inside, and basically, if you come to all the events, you're going to see familiar faces, all that battle. Basically, all the people I've seen in there is familiar faces that's come to every event that's probably inside people's staff, you know, people that rock with them, with URL, battle rappers and they entourages, and media and press. That was, it, I didn't see any people that really looked like they was just fans, that they don't know nobody, that they just come in to watch and enjoy the battle so they don't have to wait for them to come out on YouTube. I didn't see too many people like that. Um, when I was leaving, the, the the staff was saying only 10 people paid to get in the thing. But anyway, yeah, so y'all know it got shut down afterwards, but only one battle happened, JC and Young Ill in Gramercy Theater. So even when that happened, I think Smack came on stage and, and there was so much going on outside and at the door with tickets and all the crazy changes. That I think Smack just wanted to get the show started, so at least the people outside would be like, oh, they start and they're going to let, you know, they, it's going to calm down. So it gets into JC and Young Ill. It's going to, on camera, it's going to it's gonna be great because it's balls galore. Not even balls galore, it's just entertaining. Like, it's, it's not, it's nobody's outweighing nobody. Like, nobody's killing nobody. It's one of those. It's one of those you just, whoever won, you think won. Like, it starts off, they was going to flip the coin, you know, Young Ill just started rapping. I guess JC was okay with that. So Young Ill goes in strong, strong, strong first. JC, I ain't gonna break. I ain't even gonna really get deep into it because it's only battle to happen. But JC goes strong, strong first. Equal, I say it's equal to Young Ill first. But JC tells him like, yo, that's my weakest round for you. And I feel like that was his weakest round. Young Ill second goes, breaking JC down. He's getting crazy. JC's breaking Young Ill down, talking about he he the he's like the lowest of the Midwest niggas. Like I guess recognition wise. But he's the best lyrically and talent wise. <clears throat> I guess that's what he was saying. Um, it's gonna be crazy, but the, you know the metaphors and schemes is retarded. But third round, same thing. It's back and forth. So this battle was just close, basically. Whoever you think edged it, 
when you watch it on camera is gonna be it's not it's gonna be a personal thing. If you want balls and punchlines back to back to back, you're gonna go for JC. You're going to. But young ill like and I even hate to I don't even I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> I feel you gotta have your balls up there before you start worrying even about your performance. Young ill balls is crazy and his performance is crazy and he's not like acting and he's being drastic like like disaster. Disaster performance is crazy, but I feel like he over exaggerates. That's him though. He that's what he does. He over exaggerates himself. Young Ill just has like great performance and like showmanship while he's on stage. Like he just he's 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 in the he's in an element, like you know what I mean? So if you wanna base it on that, you'll take it to for young ill. It's just basically what you wanted to see right there and then, like and how you feel battles is one. So um That was it, man. Then Shotgun Shug and Bill Collector was on stage. <coughs> Sorry, and it was about to go down. Smack walked on stage with a disappointed face. He couldn't even really say. It. He like, yo, man. So, man, like, niggas is outside doing whatever. Um, I was inside, but even the people inside stayed inside, cause we thinking like, all right, if it's something outside, maybe they not gonna shut it down. Maybe they just tell everybody outside like, yo, it's over, so they'll leave. And whoever's in here, we can just get the show on the road. Whoever need to get in, battle wise, we battling and all that can get in. So. We in there, and it just, we waiting, we waiting, and it just didn't go down. Um, and also, I don't know how, but Calico and Hands got into it. I got the footage, I'm going to drop that. Um, it's nothing crazy, don't believe the hype, don't let niggas tell you one of them punked the other. It was real, like real fuck battles, it was real grown man shit, words being exchanged. And it got dealt with, to my reckoning, I don't know, I ain't in it, but, you know, as far as being in the event and viewing-wise, it, it was calmed down. They handled it. It's nothing to be spreading rumors about. If you want to just watch footage and see it, then cool. But don't be saying niggas punk, niggas. It's not even like that. Niggas is in a fucking venue with a thousand cops outside. Like, niggas, you got to really think. Niggas ain't whatever. But, um... That was it, man. I had to go to work after that. I, heard, I just got the verification, um... Conceded and Surf went down at EO Dub on Pyramid Nightclub downtown. After that, that was the only other battle that happened. I wasn't there, so I can't even tell y'all what happened. I heard it was a great battle, though. Like, like something that really, I don't know, man. That whole night, though, just could have been, like, if it would have went the way it was supposed to, it just would have been so much better. Like, I would be feeling better right now. Like, I just only, I still mad. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just... Head home and shit, but this shit is crazy. But that's it, man. That's the recap, man. The one battle recap, I guess, man. Brad Butter Films. Subscribe. Shout out everybody, man. Everybody fuck with me, man. Subscribe. I got mad. I got. I did get some nice footage and shit while I had my time in there. So look out for that. Shout out to everybody got on my camera, man. Shout out to Bad Idea T-shirts for my I'm um, Fine hoodie. Even though I got the on, I'm fine still. Um, that's it, man. My.